Hey you! Welcome back to the channel. Today I am answering a question that I get asked all the time as a running coach. Why does my marathon training plan cap my long runs at 20 miles? Let's dive on into that. Everybody. So today we are diving in into why most training plans will cap your weekly long runs at 20 miles. Now, not all running plans, right? There are literally hundreds of marathon training plans out there, but I would say most of them have you running between 18 and 20 miles, somewhere between three and four weeks away from your race day. And I know, I know, that is scary. And there is so much unknown between mile 20 and mile 26. But I promise you, if you put in the training plan, if you trust the plan, you are going to be able to finish those last six miles. Okay, you're going to have the adrenaline of race day and the cheers of the crowd and the support of other fellow runners. Those last six miles of a marathon are all mental. There's a quote that says that a marathon training plan is 90% physical and 10% mental. But race day, race day is 90% mental and only 10% physical. Because your training plan is building you up week by week by week, building up your mileage and stressing your body just enough that it can go a little bit faster and a little bit farther each and every week. So that on race day, your body knows what it's doing. You just have to summon the strength from your heart and your mind to get you to the finish line, okay? I know that it's scary, but you are capable of so much more than you can even imagine. I bet you on that last long run, 100% you could have gone and run the full 26.2 miles that day. I want you to use that 20 mile run as a trial. This is your dress rehearsal. This is the day that you get to show up and prove to yourself that you can reach those 20s, right? When you look on your watch and you see like 20 miles, there's that moment of, I can do this. When you wear the clothes that you're, you know that you're going to be wearing on race day, when you fuel your body with the gels or goos or, you know, pretzels and twizzlers or whatever you plan on eating on race day, when you go through the movements, there is something amazing that happens after that 20 mile run where you realize that your dream of being part of the 1% of the world that has finished a marathon is finally coming true. You don't need to do those last six miles in training. You will have everything you need in your heart and in your mind to get you to that finish line, okay? And the reason that we don't go further isn't that you aren't capable of going further. It's because the after about 20 miles, after running for, you know, three, four hours, your body is under a lot of stress and it takes your body a whole lot longer to recover from those stressors. And it really doesn't make sense to, to put that much overload on your body if we know that physically you could do those last six miles. So to reduce the chance of injury, to reduce the stress on your body, those last six miles are not necessary. You will be just fine on race day, okay? Because you guys, you know, 
20 miles isn't just this magical number. A lot of training plans will have you doing from 16 to 22 miles in a training plan. There's really no magic number because it's not about how far you go during your long runs. It's not just the long runs that are preparing you for race day. It's the hundreds of miles that you've been doing throughout your entire training plan. It's the dedication of you getting up, you know, four or five times a week to go for your run. It's the dedication, it's it's the strength training, it's the stretching, it's figuring out how to fuel your body and eating right and taking care of you. That is also going to contribute to you crossing the finish line. Mileage is important. Doing those weekly long runs is crucial to becoming a marathoner but it's only a piece of the puzzle, okay? Make sure that you're still focusing on the other things that are going to help you on race day. Take care of your body. Listen to your body. If you have to adjust your mileage on your training plan, it's okay. It's better to listen to your body and maybe take off a mile or two than to push and risk injury. You've come too far to not toe the line on race day, to not cross that finish line, to not have that medal around your neck. Go out there and do what you need to do. Do what you know is best for you, your bodies, and your goals so that you can go and become a marathoner. All right, you guys, that's it for me today, you guys. I will talk to you very soon.